Hello friends, we welcome you all to this video. Today in this video, we will study the volume of cube and cuboid. Thomas, did you bring the paper for the project? Yes, look. I have brought both square and rectangle papers for the project. Thomas, did you notice that square shaped paper packets and rectangle shaped packets are taking up different spaces? Yes, that is because the volume of a packet of square sized papers and the volume of a packet of rectangle sized papers are different. I did not understand what you meant. Thomas, can you please explain this to me in more detail? Absolutely. Let me explain this to you through mathematics. That means it's math time. Let's look at these rectangular paper packets first. Suppose the area of each rectangular paper is A and the height to which the stack of rectangular papers is stacked is H. Can you tell me of what shape are these rectangular paper stacks? It is a cuboid shape. The area of the base is A and the height is H. Right! And you already know that the space enclosed by any object is called its volume. Therefore, we can say that the space occupied by these cubical paper packets is its volume, V. And you can see that this volume is equal to the product of the area of each rectangular paper A and the height of the stack H. Look, we have come to know the formula for the volume of any cuboid. We can measure the volume of any cuboid as the area of its base multiplied by its height. Or in other words, we can write it as the product of its length L, breadth B and height Edge. Oh yes, Thomas. Now, let's look at this cubical paper packet. Every cube is a special type of cuboid. It is special because all of its edges are of the same size. So, if we assume that every edge of this cube shaped paper packet has a measure of A, we will get the formula of volume of cube, cube of A. Aha, you understood this very quickly, Manas. Now, let's first measure the length, breadth and height of this cubic paper packet and replace the values in the formula of a cuboid. Its length is 21 centimeters, breadth is 30 centimeters and height is 5 centimeters. And on solving it in this way, we can see that the volume of this cuboid shaped paper packet is 3150 cubic centimeters. Now, I will find the volume of these cube shaped paper packets. Here, I measure any one of the edge of this cubic paper packet and insert its value in the formula for the volume of a cube. Let me write 21 centimeters. Now, by solving in this way, we can see that the volume of the cube shaped packet of paper is 9261 cubic centimeters. <laughs> now I understand it, Thomas. Look, the volume of the cube-shaped packet of square paper is much more than the packet of rectangular paper. You are right, Manas. Let us quickly return to our world. We also have to complete the project. Let's finish the project together. The two friends together 
completed those projects using the square and rectangular papers. In this video, we studied the volume of cube and cuboid. We learnt 1. What is volume? 2. How to find the volume of a cube and a cuboid? In the next video, we shall see some interesting examples based on this.